Today marks one month since the most destructive firestorm in California history. Here's a look back at how quickly it spread. Small fires fueled by extreme winds merged into six massive fires, burning more than 200,000 acres, destroying 8,900 structures, and killing 43 people. The biggest fires were in Sonoma and Napa counties. The official state incident report shows they started within 15 minutes of each other from 9.45 to 10 p.m. on Sunday, October 8th. By midnight, fires were also burning in Mendocino and Lake counties. The pocket fire broke out at 3.30. It would take 23 days before all the fires were contained. And the most deadly and destructive fire was the Tubbs fire in Santa Rosa. ABC 7 Morning's Amy Hollyfield and photographer Steve Stifter were among the first TV crews to cover the west flank of the massive fire where the flames jumped Highway 101. Here's a look at how that morning unfolded and what happened over the next six hours. Everyone's going in the opposite direction we were. As we're headed toward the fire, we saw everyone leaving the fire. We just saw this. This is along Highway 101. It is so windy out here, and this fire just appears to be moving at will. We're at Kaiser Permanente. They are evacuating the hospital. Look at all of these people that they are having to get out of here, pulling them out of this hospital in wheelchairs. They've got uh, masks on everyone. This has gotten much more urgent. Jessica, look behind me. You can see the fire right over that bush. And look at this. Now someone coming out on a stretcher. So it looks like they're getting to the ICU patients. It is a very stressful situation as they try to get these very, uh, very ill people out of here. Oh, this is heartbreaking, <laughs> but they are doing a wonderful job. Look at what is left of this mobile home park. This is the Journey's End mobile home park. Fire has torn through this and destroyed the entire place, um, and fire is still raging. This is why they evacuated the hospital because this was burning right next to it. So right behind me, we're looking at a gun shop and a cannabis shop, and that explains all the popping that we keep hearing and have been hearing for hours. It's some rounds going off. Now we've been able to push forward north a little more, and we have found some more destruction. So we want to show you this is the Applebee's on Airway and Hopper. Our worst fears have been confirmed. We have found a neighborhood that has been wiped out. We are in Coffee Park. I was interviewing a Cal Fire Battalion Chief earlier this morning, and he said, this is a fire of a lifetime. One silver lining here is watching communities all come together to help the victims. They still need all the relief they can get. We do have a list of resources and what you can do. Just go to abc7news.com.